happy Valentine's Day, assholes. It's Brandon from the SAS Snack Food Appreciation Society. I don't like Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day for people that got like girlfriends and wives and bullshit like that. Today, it's Singles Person Day. Got Alex over here. Got Brandon from the SAS, the leader of the Snack Food Appreciation Society, for our review on Valentine's Day of M&M's Red Velvet flavored chocolates. I think these are a ex an exclusive rather of Walmart. I found them at the Walmart in Stafford, Virginia, which by the way is my favorite Walmart. And I don't like Walmart, but that one's pretty cool. But basically you got that green bitch on the front and she's got some red velvet cupcakes. Now of the M&M characters, the red M&M is more of your sarcastic asshole. The yellow peanut M&M is more your doofus dumb, moron. Yeah. The green M&M is sort of a slinky slut. And then <laughs> there's now the brown M&M, who apparently runs around naked. She's a fucking so nudist, dude. what that is, I don't know. Exhibitionist. And basically, we've discovered, you know, through our, out our journey, that red velvet can either be good or bad. It's either very tasty or very artificial tasting. And I don't know what to expect with some red velvet M&Ms, to be quite honest with you. So let's go ahead and open them up. Nice, easy, open package. Spread across the table. The way a green slut should be. <laughs> there you go. Easy spread, huh? When you're looking for that fourth, that, that, that Thanksgiving ring with Whoa, the Whoa, that was like way fucking delayed. There you go. That's for you, Stargate. That's for you. <laughs> yeah. I don't hear a screaming daughter, so it's Sorry okay. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was going to stay up. All right, we got three different colors. We've got a sort of dark burgundy. We've got a light red and a white M&M. All of them appear to be about the same size, probably the same complexity of flavor. So pop them a few and uh, see how they taste. They smell chocolatey. Yeah, of course, flavor mm -hmm. smells. It's so a typical M&M taste. It's a deeper chocolate. Like a dark chocolate or uh, something quite. different? More of your cocoa chocolate, which yeah. is what the red velvet typically is, is that is that cocoa powder mixed with some red food coloring. Yeah. So yeah, basically they're very tasty. I actually like them better than those red those little Debbies that we had that were that were red. The red velvet, velvet ones, yeah. Those are pretty gross. Crimpus tree cakes. Crimpus tree cakes, those, <laughs> those weren't that great. These red velvet ones actually are pretty good. I don't like them as much as regular M&Ms. I think they're a little too rich. So I couldn't eat like handfuls upon handfuls of these. Literally, that's the, what I would call them is rich. Yeah, no, they'd be good for a party for you to leave them in a bowl. People grab a couple of them, Maybe try them out. Maybe on a cake mm -hmm. or something, a couple sprinkle on a cake, Indeed. if you will. So, yeah, not a lot different about these, but they're just different enough to make them different. So, I would go ahead and say three quarters thumbs up on the red velvet M&Ms, though I could not eat a lot of them. Yeah, I'm going to go say two thirds of a thumb up. You know, again, I don't want to eat a whole bunch of them. Mm -hmm. You know, a handful's fine, but still plenty tasty. Something different from M&M's that isn't just their traditional plain M&M. And then we've also got Mallory's Cupcakes back here. Three I'm different flavors, special. sort of a, maybe a <laughs> strawberry. I'm not sure if the frosting has a different flavor, or a yeah, chocolate or a vanilla. We got the pink and we got with chocolate, or no, we got pink with gold and we got white with chocolate. Yeah, Pretty good on. shot of those. Hold flavors. them up for a second for the camera. This is the yellow one. I didn't knock down the chair this time. There you go. Let me zoom range. in on that. All right. A tasty looking cupcake treat. Extremely. And then, of course, with a chocolate. Oh, yes. I actually enjoy golden cake more than I enjoy chocolate cake. Yeah, I generally like yellow cake a little more than chocolate cake. Just the chocolate cake tends to, to be a little richer and the chocolate frosting usually gets a job done. No raises, but just saying, I like the yellow cake better. <laughs> But, all right. but I don't like that yellow cake you make in the clear box with it or whatever it is. No, it's not cool. It smells sweet. Mmm. Mm. Sugary sweetness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, typical diabetes inducing uh, oh, wow. uh, cupcakeness. Mmm. <laughs> That's badass. I'm actually giving these a thumbs up, or at least this yellow one, because this is a badass right here. Now, see, I think the thing now would be you have to compare and contrast mm. Honestly, the, two, the, the two different kinds. I'd give the thumbs up to the chocolate. I actually had another one of them earlier, and so I have a contrasting comparison. No, they're both thumbs up. The frosting is not too plasticky. It's nice and mm. natural plas uh, you know, frosting. <laughs> As he's having trouble 
He's got <laughs> a, a full mouth with the goodness, apparently, the creamy white junk. <laughs> the creamy white junk is totally penetrating my mouth. It's great. That's what she said. Penetrating. Mm -hmm. mm, so sweet, so tasty, so good. Thank you, BJ's. Thumbs up. <laughs> BJ's Bakery does it again. Mm -hmm. Indeed. All right. right. So Valentine's Valentine's Day. <laughs> With the SAS, join the SAS on Facebook by clicking on the link down below and do what you do when you're single and fucking don't have nobody to call your Valentine, eat a bunch of this bullshit and fucking get drunk. In the meantime, in the meantime, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Stay hungry and good luck with the uh, dating. The love boat.